think Agoa is working pretty well, even in its, even its current form. Last year, for example, Kenya exported 544 million US dollars, close to 70, 80 billion worth of goods to the United States quarter free, uh, uh, duty free. It is a window that gives us opportunity to expand our job creation facilities in our special economic zones. I think last year we added 12,000 jobs under this, under this program and I am very happy with the outcome of my conversation both at the Hill and at the White House and I want to thank President Biden for the support that he has given for the renewal of AGOA which is not going to be just a Kenyan facility. It is an African facility that will support the whole continent, access uh, market for our products so that we can create jobs back at home. We also discussed by the bilateral strategic investment, um, trade and investment uh, partnership agreement, which again, we've made very useful progress. The U.S. has reaffirmed its support for Kenyan government in sending or deploying troops to Haiti. But US and major other countries have refrained from sending their troops to Haiti. Back home, there's an active case in court in regards to this deployment. The same court has termed this as unconstitutional and illegal. Mr. President, why are you still determined in sending troops to Haiti? Um, three things. Number one, uh, the deployment of our security officers to Haiti um, has been endorsed by cabinet. Both houses of parliament have ratified. We have met all international requirements. And in fact, we have complied with the very court order you are referring to. The court asked us to have a, an agreement signed between Kenya and Haiti specifically to facilitate this deployment. The Prime Minister of Haiti traveled to Kenya and we witnessed jointly the signing of that agreement uh, that now paves way and in compliance with the directions of the court. And beyond that, uh, I have also asked the Transition uh, Presidential Council in Haiti, the new uh, arrangement there, to ratify and to confirm that they recognize the agreement that was signed between Kenya and witnessed by the former Prime Minister and myself. And I have it in writing that they confirm that the current administration recognizes that agreement and it is on that basis that we will be deploying our troops and also in compliance with the UN regulations and UN requirements under uh, the UN uh, peacekeeping efforts. So we are very clear and I am very clear in my mind that Kenya has satisfied all legal, constitutional and international obligations to facilitate the deployment of this uh, of this of this uh, po police uh, contingent